Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Matt with Beard of Darkness Book Reviews. And today we're gonna be counting down my top 10 most anticipated reads. And if at any point you find yourself enjoying this content that I create, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe, like it, comment down in the comment boxes. And I also have my Discord information on my page and I'll also post it below. All right, at number 10 guys, we have It by Stephen King. And I'm pretty sure we've all heard of this one. It's a classic, classic horror by Stephen King and they've made a bunch of movies about it. I've seen most of them and I enjoy them, but I think I'm going to take it as a whole nother experience when I watch them after reading this brick disguised as a book because ladies and gentlemen, this is over 1100 pages long. So when I find that section in my life where I can put a big book on the schedule like this, I will. Moving on to number nine, guys, we've got Tigana by Guy Gabriel K. And this has been on my radar for a little bit now, but because I'm so new to the fantasy genre, so many great novels I haven't read yet. And gosh, I really feel lucky by that. Honestly, I, I hear people all the time saying, I wish that I could read again for the first time ever. And I feel like I'm kind of in that boat at the moment, just because I never thought that I was a reader. I didn't think that I liked reading or that fantasy was even an interest of mine. I didn't even give it consideration. So now that I've found such a passion for it, I'm di discovering all of these greats that I keep hearing about over and over again. And I'm just looking forward to doing that and experiencing those books. Now this one's essentially about a group of rebels that are trying to overthrow the two tyrants and just gain their, their land back. And that sounds pretty awesome to me. It sounds like a classic fantasy trope. And from what I've heard about Guy Gabriel K's writing, it's gonna be a blast. It's gonna be an emotional roller coaster. Um, and I'm really looking forward to it. All right, guys, for number eight, it is The Grace of Kings by Ken Liu. This is heavy politically. I hear it has amazing, amazing action scenes, good fighting. Um, so this is a reimagining of the Han Dynasty. I'm definitely gonna brush up on my history a little bit better before reading this one, because I'm not super well versed in. coming in at big number seven is steven erickson's gardens of the moon i have not stopped hearing about malazan since i joined booktube and before uh, when i bought this book a year and a half ago i had heard about it i've seen it at a couple different forums this and that but i had no idea how big this epic series of malazan is so that's partly to do with my anticipation but I think once I get started I won't be able to stop or the opposite I'll have to take lots of time in between each book I've heard both um, either either way I'm really excited about my number seven Steven Erickson's Garden of the Moon all right guys coming in at my big number six it is RJ Barker's The Bone Ships and this one sounds very intriguing that's why it's on this list um, there's ships made of dragon bones. From what I understand, R.J. Barker's writing style is pretty unique. He does his own thing um, as far as his style and how he writes. Um, I hear it's really good with characters, but I, I just hear mostly that it's very unique and authentic in the writing aspect, plus dragons. All right, guys, for number five, my choice is Glenn Cook's Black Company. The Chronicles of the Black Company. This is a big one just because of how dark and gritty and kind of morally gray characters. Um, I hear a lot about the action and really not good or bad guys. They kind of find themselves in the middle of this company. And it's just along the lines of the dark fantasy I'm really big fan of. So that is why this is my number five. All right, guys, coming in at number four for me is The Lies of Locke Lamora by Scott Lynch part of the Gentleman Bastards series. And this is just about a group of thieves, from what I understand, that there's lots of um, good banter and some dirty language. And I hear it's really fun. I hear it's got a great world, really good characters. So this is a highly anticipated read for me. All right, we're at the top three, guys. The number three spot goes to Evan Winters, 
The Rage of the Dragons. And this is an epic fantasy. And what won me over when I heard about this book, putting it at the number three spot for me, is hearing of the setting of the world is based on an African, like African setting. So you hear of these English settings, or when you think of epic fantasy, you think of England, Britain, you know, typical everyday epic fantasies. And to think of this in a setting such as Africa, that sounds pretty awesome to me. All right, guys, for the number two spot, it's Mark Lawrence, the, Pri the Prince of Thorns. And this is pretty simple to me while this is on my, my list and definitely at number two. I've heard it's pretty gritty, pretty dark, pretty gruesome, and some foul language, this and that. I really like those stories. It kind of takes me away from reality <clears throat> uh, to get into an epic fantasy that's not supposed to be good or just these morally gray characters that you find yourself rooting for. So based on explanations and that, way that's why this is my number two and what is taking my number one spot guys is of blood and fire by ryan cahill i just got done with a novella called the fall and in 93 pages he won me over so much in that story and the love of his writing and dragons and the promise of more dragons and in 93 pages he convinced me to put him as my number one anticipated book of blood and fire and guys i hope you enjoyed this video i had a lot of fun making it um it's like a lot of preparation but in through that preparation i find myself getting more excited about what i'm going to read soon um i've already found a lot of good people on the booktube community that are very supportive so hey guys i really appreciate your views comments and subscribing and i hope to see you again